In this video, I want to talk about uh, application of percentages using proportional thinking. Okay, so let's look at this question. A supermarket is selling tinned tuna for 60 cents off. This is a discount of 12%. How much did the tinned fish originally cost? So let's write what is given. So what they're saying is, there is 60% off and that is equal to 12%. So basically what's given is 12%. What's given is 12% is given to be 60 cents. That's what is given, if you can understand the question. Okay, this is 12%. Means this 60 cents is 12%. So from, if you know 12% is 60 cents, can I find what is 1%? Okay, so it's, this is a good technique. You can use this for any type of example. So if you find one person, well, this you have to divide by 12. So 12 divided by 12, 12 divided by 12 gives you 1. So you do the same thing here. Now those are not good in division. Dividing by 12, so 60 divided by 12 is 5 cents. 60 divided by 12 is 5 cents. Now the question is, how much did it did the tinned fish originally cost? So they're asking you to find the hundred percent. They're asking you find the hundred percent. So basically what you do is, if you know one percent, you can find hundred percent. So again, this is proportional thinking. You want to find hundred percent. So from one percent, one times what gives you hundred? Well, one times hundred gives you hundred. So you do the same thing here, so times it by 100. So 5 cents times 100 is 500 cents. That means that it costed, the original cost of the tin fish was $5. 500 cents is nothing but $5. Okay, let's look at one more question. The Smith family receives 380000 from the sale of the house after the real estate has taken his commission of 5%. How much was the house sold for? So again, this is a question of finding 100%. Okay, what was the 100%? So here you have to read between the lines. What does it say? They got 380,000 after the real estate, real, estate, real estate agent took his commission of 15%. That means they got how much percent? They got 95% of the sale price. So you can say they got 95% of the sale, actual sale price. So this is one skill you need to develop when you read a question, try to extract information. So what is given is, we know that 95% of a particular amount is $380,000 you want to find 100%. So same technique, let's find 1%. So 1% I want to find from 95%, well, you have to divide by 95. So you do the same thing here, you divide 380,000 by 95, for which I need a calculator. So 380,000 divided by 95, gives me $4,000. So 1% is $4,000. So let me write a dollar sign here. So now you want to find the 100 person. So one person, from one person you can always find any person. So you divide, sorry, sorry, from one person you want to find 100 person, so that is times by 100. So if you times this by 100, you do the same thing to this, times this by Hundred. So this is four hundred thousand. This is four hundred thousand. So those who don't know, you can go four thousand times one hundred, which is four hundred thousand. Okay. And now, how can you check your answer? So hundred percent. Hundred percent is four hundred thousand. Okay. So how much would be 10%? 10% would be one-tenth of this, which is 40,000. Am I right? One-tenth of this is 40,000. 
So if you're not 10 percent, you can find about 5 percent. 5 percent is 20,000. 5 percent is 20,000. Does it make sense? So it was the house was originally sold for. This is the sale price. This is the sale price. This house was sold for 400,000, and this is the commission that the agent got. This is the commission of the agent, which is 20,000. And you can check 40,000 take away 20, 400,000 take away 20,000 is 380,000. 